Here at AmericanMuscle.com, we can sometimes get caught up or lost in the day-to-day -day grind. So when the opportunity comes along to do something really cool, we would absolutely love to help in any way that we can. Enter Jonathan from Make-A-Wish. Now we told you about Jonathan and his story a little while back at Chip Shop in California about his wish to have AmericanMuscle.com totally transform his new Edge Mustang into his dream ride. Hey Jonathan, how you doing buddy? Good, how are you? Doing well, congratulations man, obviously uh... Surprise, we're gonna be hooking you guys up and taking care of your ride and getting you all hooked up. Wow. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna grab your car, we're gonna ship it out to American Muscle, the guys and I are gonna go to work on it here, and uh, how about we fly you and your family out to our car show this August, we'll reveal it there for you. That sounds pretty amazing. Well, we got the car in the shop, as you can see, and uh, it's a little rough to say the least. What lies underneath is even worse. Basically, this thing is beyond repair, so we helped Jonathan find a new platform to start with, 2001 Mustang GT to help Jonathan create his dream Mustang. Now, Jonathan's been great with helping us with the part list, color schemes, and other ideas to really nail down his dream Mustang. Jonathan came up with the overall design for his Make-A-Wish New Edge, and then worked with our talented graphic artist here at American Muscle to create a rendering based off of his vision for his dream Mustang. So I'm going to present that rendering to Jonathan right now and see what he thinks. Hey, what's happening, Jonathan? How you doing, buddy? Hey, how you doing? Good, good. Well, I just sent an email with the rendering here that our artist came up with. Why don't you open that thing up, man? Check this thing out and see if you like it. Okay, one second. All right. Wow. What do you think, man? <laughs> that that looks that's pretty crazy. I like the uh, you know the red accents that he has going on. You know with the. Uh, the roof, the mirrors, the spoiler, definitely. Yeah, I like yeah. it. It's kind of like a Laguna Seca style new edge, you know, with the black exactly. and red accents. Exactly. That's exactly what, you know, I think of when I see it. You know, the uh, the bullet rims, just when you put that red in there and everything, I mean, it, it's very nice. Besides, obviously, the appearance stuff we have going on here, of course, give you a lot of performance to back up these really good looks here. And if again, if you're not liking one thing in particular, let us know because after I hang up with you, we're going to get to heart, you know, get, get to work on this car here since the show is right around the corner. The only thing I could think of is just have red inside of the uh, the hood scoops there. Okay, it, I dig funny. it, I dig it. We'll throw this little, some, little red in the uh, Terminator hood there, make sure exactly. it pops a little bit, okay. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm extremely excited. It, it, I mean, it's, it's my dream car, really. It's amazing. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this one, believe me. I do really appreciate it, and I, I'm very excited. And we'll see you in August. See you soon. Bye. I cannot wait to get to work on this thing. The show is right around the corner, so let's go. So first we're gonna tackle the exterior. We're gonna give Jonathan's GT the full treatment with a complete overhaul with the help from our friends at a local body shop, Malvern Collision. In order to get Jonathan's car completely perfect, we have to blow it apart to get it ready for bodywork and paint. Again, to nail that Laguna Seca style look that Jonathan really wants for his dream new edge, we're going with a deep glossy black base with red accents on the hood, roof, and spoiler. Can't wait to see how it turns out. All right, let's check this thing out. Wow. Definitely got that Laguna Seca style stuff happening with the black and red. Man, that thing looks awesome. They really did a good job on the paint scheme. I'm super glad he did the black and red thing with the vents on the hood because it really needed something up front here. But overall, this thing looks killer, man. Now, obviously, those wheels are sticking out like a sore thumb, but we'll fix that. Body kit looks killer. Should be sounding pretty good, too. We got the Roush side pipes on. Let's fire it up. Sounds pretty cool. Car's off to a great start. We still have a long way to go with this thing though. Obviously wheel suspension, some performance stuff is next on the plate. So we'll get that going and then uh, it's crunch time, man. Jonathan's Make-A-Wish New Edge is now really looking the part. So we've got to give him some performance and suspension to back up those good looks. We're giving him some of the bolt-on essentials and dropping the ride height to really show off those staggered bullet style wheels. All right, guys, crunch time here on Jonathan's Make-A-Wish build. Now, the big reveal is only a few days away, but we have been hard at work on this thing that's really starting to take shape. Let's show you where we're at right now. We got a lot of stuff going on under the hood here. As you can see, some of the bolt-on basics, including brand new underdrive pulleys, new intake manifold, which is nice. Throttle intake from SR Performance, and that CNL is always nice as well. Brand new shorty headers, of course, padded X-pipe, and leading into that exhaust, which is sound pretty awesome. What you can't see is a new rear end set we got going on here. 373 gears from Ford Racing, in addition to a nice new one-piece drive shaft as well, but we didn't stop there. We finally addressed that ride height situation, as you can see, with a brand new set of coilovers. 
and of course new wheels because look at these things man we couldn't stick Jonathan with that he really wanted the black bullet style wheels so that's what we're giving him wrapped in the really really nice street comp tires from Mickey Thompson huge 315s out back this thing should look pretty tough but we're burning daylight Jonathan this one's for you man we got to get to work As you can see, we got this thing totally ripped apart right now. We're doing brand new carpet for Jonathan, brand new really cool racing seats for him and a couple other little touches. Most importantly, as you can see, Brian right now, our buddy, is working on a pretty rocking system for Jonathan and his new edge here. He really, really is a big fan of music, so we're gonna hook him up big time. We're doing a complete JL audio system for him. Uh, enclosed sub in the rear here, we got the touch screen up front, the Alpine. This thing should be pretty nuts by the time Brian's finished up and I really can't wait to hear it. So, guys, finish line's getting close. Well guys, that's it. Jonathan's Make-A-Wish New Edge is a wrap. I really think we nailed this thing. Now we're getting it loaded up on the trailer right now for the big reveal at our show. Can't wait to see his reaction. Very excited. It's it's a dream come true. When we first got a call from Make a Wish, and we learned that Jonathan's wish was to have us, American Muscle, overhaul his car, we were honored. We were excited. We got a chance to go back and forth with him quite a bit. I got to meet him earlier today, and uh, he's really a great kid. He couldn't deserve this more. Everybody wants to see this thing, right? Right, Jonathan, you want to come up, buddy? We're going to do it on three, right? Three, two, one. All right. Wow. Congratulations, buddy. Oh, I'm missing one thing. Wow. He's along to you, sir. <laughs> wow. Yeah. How do you like it? A lot. I mean, did we nail your vision or what? By far. <laughs> can we maybe start it up? Is that cool? Can we hear, hear what this thing sounds like? Go ahead, Jonathan. Let me help you get into that thing, man. Wow. Thank you.